El autismo afecta a uno de cada 88 niños en los Estados Unidos. Los expertos dicen que es importante tener eventos como estos para apoyar a las familias que son afectadas de este trastorno mental. La nueva reforma migratoria le podrá brindar la ciudadanía a los cerca 11 mil indocumentados que viven aquí en los Estados Unidos. La Universidad de Cal State Northridge ha reportado muchos crímenes como estos donde desarmaron la bicicleta y le dejaron solo la llanta al estudiante. Bienvenidos a Noticias del Valle, yo soy Fanny Cano. Estas son algunas de las razones por qué la obesidad se ha convertido en un problema al alzo en las comunidades latinas. Según el Centro Nacional de Control y Prevención de Enfermedades, cerca del 31% de los latinos son obesos. Después de meses de anticipación, la Universidad de Cal State Northridge por fin le está abriendo sus puertas al nuevo teatro de arte. Reportando desde Northridge, mi nombre es Fanny Cano para las Noticias del Valle. A football team in Canyon Country is fighting against cancer. I had a chance to join the Santa Clarita Skyhawks in their weekend opening game. These football players may seem rough going into the field, but their cause has a much softer side. The Santa Clarita Skyhawks are tackling for more than just points, but for the fight against cancer. Team's manager Michael McIntyre says although the event fell a little short of expectations, the best is still yet to come. Once we get the games and they're going and going, the fans start to build up and we go from there. So I, this is just the beginning for me. Over the last couple of years, the team has adopted the Michael Hoffman Foundation in the fight against cancer. The Michael Hoffman Foundation was established in 1994. Since then, it's been working to aid children whose lives have been affected by cancer. One of the Skyhawks' newest members, Joshua Daniels, says he plays with his heart today. Because I love kids. Like, that's the reason why I make time for this. Like, you know, I could be, you know, working, making money, but I'd rather be doing this. For team captain Kenny Suber, the cause hits closer to home. I mean, my mom had cancer. She was diagnosed, and, you know, that just, it, it put, you know, that person on my back to get me going. In 2007, over 10,000 children were diagnosed with some type of cancer. Cancer is the leading cause of death by disease among U.S. children ages 1 to 14. Although the weekend's game didn't bring a victory and the score ending 21 to 13, it is the beginning to what the Skyhawks hope will be a great season. From Santa Clarita, this is Fanny Cano for Valley View News. Irene and Kevin Lambert are one of the many families who are dealing with autism. After being diagnosed at the age of eight, Kevin always knew he was different. My friends would like say all these jokes and they're all laughing. I'm like, well, what's so funny about it? I don't get what's so funny. So I guess that's when I realized that I was, that's when they started treating me differently. His mother says life has been tough for him. He can't stand it. You know, like if we go to Walmart during the Christmas holidays, he'll say, Mom, I gotta go. I gotta go now. Autism now affects one in 88 children and one in 54 boys. Director of the Autism Clinic at Cal State Northridge, Dr. Deborah Malmberg, says the faster autism is detected, the better it is for the patient. And we see that children with autism can make great strides. So as long as they're getting that intervention early and very intensely. So we know that early intervention is critically important for children with autism. Autism has become the fastest growing developmental disability here in the United States. Experts say it is important to have events like this one, such as the fifth annual Antelope Valley Autism Walk, to raise awareness and help families whose lives have been affected by this disorder. I think it's extremely important for everyone to be aware of autism because it's something that's growing within our community. Here, families walk together to show their support. Autism has not slowed down Kevin. He is the first college graduate in his family. Out of him. I'm very proud of him. Autism experts say some ways to help families cope with autism is being supportive, staying informed, and getting to know people with autism. This is Fifi, a one-year-old cat who is waiting to be adopted. She is one of the many cats and dogs at the Best Friends Animal Society shelter who were given a second chance at finding a home. There are nearly 70 million stray cats and dogs living in the U.S., and one every eight seconds, at least one is being killed in a shelter. That is where organizations like No Kill Los Angeles come to place with only one mission in mind, and that is to save as many animals as they can. Right now there's 13,000 animals that died last year um, that were healthy and treatable, so, so there's so many still that are dying. The NKLA is currently a 56 organization coalition to make the Los Angeles community a no-kill city and has already saved over 4,200 animals. Best Friends Animal Society was open a year ago and since then it's been helping animals like Cabernet find a home. 
Last year, the shelter alone had nearly 3,000 adoptions. Peralta says organization's plan is simple, to putting the NKLA's mission into practice. One, you focus on spay and neuter. And secondly, it's just working as a coalition towards a goal. Aside from adoptions, Best Friends Animal Society offers health care and spay and neuter. And for those who can't reach the facility, the services can come to you. From Mission Hills, I'm Fanny Cano for Valley View News.